Hello, welcome to another Science in Minutes. I'm science teacher Mr. Hall, and this is my son Julian and his friend Brandon. And they are both in what grade? Fourth. Fourth, fourth grade. All right. So Brandon's grandfather found this, and he brought it to Brandon uh, and gave it to him. So what is this, Brandon? It's a bald-faced hornet's nest. Bald-faced hornet's nest. Man, I bet you some people look at that and they get pretty scared. Um, why is it okay for you to touch this right now? Because it's winter, February, and all the hornets die except for the queen because she digs a hole in the ground and hibernates. That's very good. All right. So can you classify bald-faced hornets? How would you classify them? Plants or animals? Animals. They're animals, right? Are they vertebrates or invertebrates? Invertebrates. Why? Um, exoskeleton. They have an exoskeleton, right? They don't have an internal skeleton like we do. So. Hornets are, are social wasps, like yellow jackets or paper wasps, which means they live together in colonies. And these colonies can be as big as, as 100 to 400 individuals by the end of the summer, and some big ones can get to 700. How do they make this? Uh, they start chewing up wood, and they spit it out as some paper-feeling stuff. Yeah, it's like wood pulp, and it just builds over time. It gets bigger and bigger. If you see this in the summertime in a tree, should you approach it? Definitely not. Why not? <clears throat> They'll sting you. Absolutely. And can they only sting you once like a bee? Or? No. Uh, so wasps can sting you as many times as they want and be fine. Right. And, and, and these bald-faced hornets are really aggressive. Um, they're very protective of their area. So if you find one in the, in the warmer months, don't approach it. And certainly don't throw rocks at it or anything because... They will go come out, they'll chase you, and they'll sting you over and over again. Um, and it, it's a pretty, pretty painful sting. So be careful around these. Always talk to a parent or an adult before you approach any kind of an animal nest or, or anything like that that you're not sure of. So thanks for bringing this in. I appreciate it. Uh, and as always, science, science is all around.